At about 7 o'clock p.m., a male subject attacked an 80-year-old woman by stabbing her multiple times in the arm with a knife. The attack occurred at 105 West Howard Street in Glencoe. The male subject came inside the woman's home in search of her prescription medications. It was said that he threatened to cut her tongue off if she screamed. After retrieving the medications, the suspect took the woman's cordless house phone and ran away. The subject was tall, had a mustache, and was wearing a t-shirt and jeans at the time of the attack. The subject left on foot down an alley next to where the attack occurred. The woman's son says he believes that she may have let the attacker inside her house. Yeah, she's got a sliding door inside, an oak sliding door, has got a big hook on it. I always hook that too, for safety. And uh, my niece come over, went to the kitchen, come back out and went out the front door and the guy come out of the dining room of the house from in the back. So he had no other way to get in, but she let him in. I mean, he knew right where to go to get her medication, her purse. It was an in, it was, you know, somebody already knew. They told him where everything was. She, she's just not safe in her home no more. And the town's just getting, it's getting full of drugs. This town's full of drugs. She's not safe. She ain't going to be safe. Not, does she know who the guy was? They pretty well know. Okay. We can't say too much about right, right. the police, you know, right. but they pretty well know. And, uh, I mean, something's got to be done. I mean, some, the law really needs to take toll of this town. They need to do something with this town. I mean, that's, it really does. I just, I just thought I need to say that because she's lived here 53 years, you know, and always felt safe. Now she'll never feel safe again. So what do you think about this happening in Glinko here? I think they need to start a neighborhood watch patrol where people can get out and see what's going on in the neighborhood and report suspicious activity to local law enforcement or whoever. That way we won't have these problems. You take like her, I've known that woman all my life. She raised me from a baby just about, you know. And for something like that to happen in this little town, we never ever had this problem around right here. The woman was conscious and alert, and a neighbor was helping her by applying pressure to her wounds while units were responding. Since the attacker could have still possibly been in the area, the EMS was told to wait to approach until the police arrived and could confirm that the area was clear. The woman refused to go into an ambulance, and the phone that was stolen from her home was later found behind her house in a small creek. That's all the information we have at this time, and we will post more information as it becomes available. I'm Jennifer Cervellis for GC Video News.